Hi everyone, Luca from lucasjesperphotography.com and in this video I'm going to give you my quick review on the Oldfuss Moneymaker. Now, I got this from the US because you can get it anywhere else. So if you live in Europe, you will have to go through the US. Uh, I tried to get it through the old fast website, but they were out of stock, so I had to go through BNH. Now, what is the old fast money maker? Well, it's simply a camera strap, a leather camera strap to be exact. So it comes in a small pocket like that, with this on the side, and that is pretty much it. So, when you receive it the first time, you kind of, whoa, how do you put this on? And by looking on the website, you kind of make out, well, how to pull it on. And it's a pretty simple strap to put on, and you just slide in one way, pull in the other, and you're pretty much ready to go. So what you would do here is have your uh, little slings here for your cameras, which I will put now. And you've got an extra one, which is a secured, I believe they, they call it the secured something, which uh, allows you to secure the camera to it. So you will attach this on the side of the camera, and this will go at the bottom of the camera with the actual uh, little screw, which you will get under. So kind of, you could compare it a double strap of Black Rapid, but this is a bit different. So there I am with uh, two cameras on me. I have a Fuji X-T1 with a 23 mm on one side, and an Icon uh, 3200 with an 18 to 55. I actually wanted to film with this camera so I could have the two Fuji, but something didn't work, never mind. So as you can see, the setup with two small cameras is pretty easy to have. It feels very comfortable, you know, it, it really kind of feel, it goes through all your shoulders and it gives you a very comfortable, um, you know, holding the camera. Now going around, if I move around slowly, the camera kind of stay here, you know, they don't bounce around. And that's one of the problems I had with the Black Rapid uh, double strap is that the slings were so long that the camera was just bouncing around. This somehow it gets closer to you. Now, if you look behind, <coughs> it's got a nice cross. And as you can see, you know, it's really, really well made, really well constructed. Uh, the leather is really fantastic, the, the quality of it, you know. Now the camera, as you can see, kind of, as they stay a little behind. There's no position where they're at the front, they're more at the back. That's what I like, you know, uh, because you could have like a little pocket on the front. You, you have access to your pocket very easily. Uh, so it's really, really good. Now it is adjustable uh, in regard to the length. So you can have a longer if you want to. Personally, I think this is fine uh, when you're shooting. Now, if you need to take the camera out quickly, you have a very quick release which you just pull and the camera will go away, okay? So that can become very handy. Now I've got a secure strap here, but you don't always have to have this. I personally during wedding probably wouldn't have it. Uh, I just put it on to, to try it and it works pretty well. But if you take it off and I'm just gonna pull it back. Okay. So if you have your camera on the side and you quickly need to take it off, it's like a little goopy, you know, you just pull it and then up you have it off, you know. You don't have to go and try to go off with the thing, you know, you can just take it up or down. It, it can be taken quite easily. To take it, to put it back on, you just, uh, I prefer to keep it this way. Just take the thing inside and then pull it back by just pulling on the thing and yeah, it's, I think you just have to get the end off, you know, but the, the mechanism is really, really solid, uh, great quality. <clears throat> and that's what you expect really from the, the price of a strap that, uh, like that. Now, it does leave a bit of leather everywhere, but I guess with time, this will get more used and it will get nicer. Um, what can I say about it? You know, it, it's a great strap. You know, I've had uh, lots, lots of different straps. The last one I had, which I've used for my wedding, was the spider holster. Amazing things, you know, on the side. But I just wanted something a bit different. Looks, this looks like, you know, a bit stylish. You know, it, it looks nice. Now, some people may feel uh, that 
they want to use with white shirt or different color shirt so this will actually come out better personally i like to keep quite a low profile during weddings uh, having a white shirt with this well it kind of makes you stand out personally not really something i try to do when at weddings but you might want um, you go also little uh, clips here i don't know what you can do with it if you want to clip a little pocket with some memory card or something like this and that is pretty much it now the cost in the US is $260 and I think for $260 if you are in the US it's a good price you know you're really really paying for a very high quality product uh, when you look at the difference between uh, spider holster double which is about the same price uh, black rapid double which is about the same price I think this really has an advantage in coming uh, when you look at the quality and you know the, the style of it you know it's really really fashionable and I think with uh, lots of uh, <clears throat> XT1 or Fuji or mirrorless users, uh, you will find that it, it kind of fits well the style. Um, yeah, unfortunately, one of the things, unfortunately, is I live in Europe, I live in France, and that is a bit of a problem. Now, the strap costed, if you live in France, will cost you around 350 euros because you'll have the exchange rate, which is very bad with the euro at the moment. Now we are in uh, May 2015, so this may be different in future, but you also have high tax and duty coming from the US. Uh, it came up to $80, so the total co costed me about 200, 350 euros. Is it worth 350 euros? No, I don't believe it is. Between 200 and 250, yes it is. But if you really want it, if you have spare cash, if you, if you want to treat yourself, why not, you know? Uh, there are plenty of things where you can spend that amount of money, so why not? As I say, you know, I don't think uh, the value is up to 350 euros, but as I say, you may want to, uh, you know, treat yourself and get something nice for you. I think it feels very comfortable. I think I need to get used to it because I've been used to uh, shoulder strap, but it feels good, it makes you look good, uh, better, as I say, you know, uh, and it's safe and I just like it. I think it's brilliant. I really think it is. Um, so yeah, that, that is pretty much all I have to say. You know, there is no much to sell. Put a few close up during the video and to, to show you a, a bit better how the thing is made. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to post them down below. And thanks for watching. Cheers. See ya.